Good day, everyone. Um, this is going to be a mini lesson on um, reading and writing workshop. Um, I wanted to provide some more direction and support for the reading log that I assigned yesterday. Um, so I'm going to go through a few resources that I will post along with this video um, and offer an alternative uh, text than your classic fiction book if you are not uh, kind of in possession of a classic fiction book at home um, because I know some people said in the survey that they didn't have a copy or that they didn't want to read that one so I'm going to be offering some alternatives um, and I'll go through that in a moment um, so let's take a look at Google Classroom. Um, you guys can see here um, for middle or bridging, um, there are two assignments due on Friday. One of them is the uh, reading log. Um, and it actually looks like someone has turned it in uh, or is working on it, which is great. Um, the reading log needs to be completed by Friday. Um, it's very similar to the four score organizers you've done in class, except I'm asking you to focus on finding evidence. Um, and you put um, evidence in that cen center column. Um, so you need, you're gonna need to find three quotations. Now I want um, people who are interested in reading and finishing their classic fiction book to use their classic fiction book for these assignments. Um, if you have another fiction book, um, that will work because we're gonna be doing work on character and theme for this unit. Um, it cannot be a nonfiction book. It needs to have, uh, be a fiction book with um, characters, uh, story, and theme. Uh, if you have questions about that, please contact me by commenting or um, emailing me at tcl.sandy.net. Um, for those people who do not have a copy of their classic fiction book or are choosing not to read their book because even after this amount of time they are not interested in their book, um, I am giving you another option. So the other option is going to be a short story for this week called Seventh Grade by Gary Soto. Um, I'm gonna show you the link and what it looks like um, to access that short story. You can use this short story um, as the text for this assignment. So you'll pull your three quotations instead of from your classic fiction book from your um, from this short story. Um, so this is what it's looks going to look like. You guys are going to need to sign in to a website called Learn Actively. So um, I'll, let me sign out and I'll show you what it looks like um, to sign in. So Actively Learn, and it will be linked on Google Classroom, so don't worry about finding it. Um, it is a, another online resource with texts. Some of you may be looking at it for... Um, information about uh, early uh, early period of the American Revolution for history. Um, so what you need to do is you need to click student sign up or sign in and you're going to sign in with Google just like you would with New ZLA, just like you would with um, No Red Ink, you're signing in with Google. Um, under my class, because you should see a class assigned to you, um, you'll see that I have assigned some additional articles to help you guys answer your study guide or advanced organizer um, for history. And then there's also this short story that I'm offering as an alternative text for the reading journal. So um, let me close the data here. 
So the short story, um, the cool thing about Learn Actively, it does have some directions and helpful kind of comments on the um, kind of inside the text itself. There are some uh, polls, and uh, if you look down, it has kind of um, some what you might call it, just like checks, comprehension checks, like questions asking, hey. Um, are you understanding and comprehending what the text is telling you? Um, if, as you can see, the text is not super long. It starts here, a few paragraphs down. We've got a question, a few paragraphs down. Got a question, a few paragraphs down. One more question, and then it gets us to the end of the text. So there's like kind of like four sections. Um, if you're going to choose this option, I would like you to read the entire text. Um, we, I need you guys to be um, practicing reading for ex extended periods of time, just like you do in class with sound sustained reading. Um, so I actually did one example for you. Um, this will not be counted, so if you use it for your own um, Reading log, I will say, hey, this is incomplete. It's going to go in the gradebook as incomplete until you make the change. Um, so do not use the same quotation and commentary that I give, but here it is. So looking into the reading log, it says, um, full quotations evidence for thinking from your classic fiction book or your alternative seventh grade by Gary Soto. Focus on details related to your major and minor characters. So as you can see, I'm asking you to find three quotations and do three pieces of commentary. Directions for each column are on the top. So quotations go here. Inferences about your characters and characterization go here. Um, two of them need to be about a protagonist. So in the case of um, seventh grade, the main character's name is Victor. Um, you need to find quotations that uh, relate to Victor. And then uh, one of the quotations should be about a minor character as well. It's both my major and minor characters um, help to develop a story and its, its uh, themes. So um, here's the example. There were rivers in France and huge churches and fair-skinned people everywhere, the way there were brown people all around Victor. So I chose this quote. Um, it says, quotation needs to be two sentences long. Um, if it's one long sentence, that will suffice, just like this one. Uh, suffice means it will be enough. That is fine. Um, and I wrote here three sentences of commentary. I said, I infer. That means I make an educated guess um, based on the details that are provided that Victor has dreams of traveling the world and seeing more than his hometown of Fresno. So there's a lot to unpack in that in that kind of desire of his, but um, along with that, he is also aware. I'm inferring from this quotation that he's aware of race in his world. He knows that fair-skinned people live in France and brown people live in Central Valley, California, or Fresno. Um, so just from this one sentence, we kind of are inferring and drawing some conclusions about what Victor thinks about. Um, his world and his future. Um, so that's what you guys do in the for the reading log. It's just three quotations and three short um, pieces of commentary. They need to be in complete sentences, um, and they need to be either about your classic fiction book, another fiction book, or Seventh Grade by Gary Soto. A word of warning. I saw some people in their survey saying that they are reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid or Dork Diaries. Those are great books to read for pleasure. They are not going to work for um, English language arts bridging in middle. Okay, You need to be reading another fiction book that is near to your ability level so that you are challenging yourself and that we have enough um, detail and complexity in your text to do work on characters, characterization, and theme. If you have concerns about that, please let me know. If you submit an assignment where you're pulling quotes from a diary of Wimpy Kid and you're in seventh grade or eighth grade, 
I will send it back to you and say this is not complete and you do not have a score in your gradebook. Um, I'm also going to be posting along with these uh, Um, along with the short story and the, this video, I'm also going to be posting a few uh, reading workshop tools. Um, we're going to dive into how authors create characters um, because that will be part of the, the learning that we do in this reading workshop unit. Um, but um, I'm not going to focus on that now. Um, but you can start looking at that if you're interested thinking about that second question on your journal it says what does the author want us to think about him or her that is characterization authors deliberately choose details actions dialogue description of characters um, ways that they interact with their world to develop them to um, build the character for the mind of the reader um, and imply certain things about who their character is, their personality, their dreams, fears, um, etc. So we're going to be diving into that this, uh, this unit. Um, the ones that could help you more at this moment, but I will link the other one, um, are is this one it says readers are alert to moments that reveal characters like when so in your reading log I'm asking you to find quotations from your book that have that reveal something or imply something about your character so that you can make an inference you can make a guess about something that is not just told to you outright and those are um, Characters use strong loaded language. If, if a character says something in language that is strong or loaded, that might be something you want to use as a quotation and investigate and make some guesses about. Why are they doing that? What does it show about who they are? Same, same with act characters act in surprising ways. Um, Victor acts in a surprising way early on in that short story that you might want to highlight and uh, think about. Um, when characters seem to change, when the their early thoughts and actions don't seem to um, be the same as they um, later on in the story, that's something maybe to focus on. Think about, well, what does that show about my character? Characters facing difficulty, emotions as a reader change, something in the story feels repeated, you start noticing a pattern about a character. These are all things that would be great to focus on and find quotations for um, for the reading log on characters and characterization. All of these resources are going to be posted on uh, Google Classroom in a moment along with this video. Um, please ask questions in the comments and uh, um, get support if you need it. Uh, once again, there is an alternative text for the reading log. If you do not want to use your classic fiction book or you do not have a copy of your classic fiction book, you will use this text. Okay. The text is Seventh Grade by Gary Soto. You must read the whole thing and use the text to find your quotations and make your commentary for the reading log. Thank you, everyone.